Today is the 159th anniversary of General Robert E. Lee's surrender to Union forces at the Appomattox Courthouse in Virginia. This surrender essentially ended the American Civil War. Robert E. Lee was a fascinating historical figure. He actually was offered the position to lead the Union Army at the beginning of the war, but he was unable to go to war against his home state of Virginia, which is why he sided with the Confederacy. The terms of surrender were negotiated with Union General Ulysses Grant, and it was actually a very emotional experience for both of the men because they had known each other when they both fought together for the United States in the Mexican-American War. The terms of surrender were actually handwritten by Grant's aide, Elias Parker, who was a Native American. During the negotiation, Ulysses Grant actually said to Elias Parker, at least there's one real American here. Parker then turned to both men and said, we're all Americans. Lee's only request was that his men be allowed to keep their horses. Grant ordered his men to stop celebrating the surrender. 